lovely woman from Myanmar. She lives in Glasgow now, and she is an NHS worker. So give her a round of applause. <laughs> My name is Susu. I am originally from Myanmar and I live in Glasgow for more than three years. I love Scotland. I love Scottish people. And first of all, thank you so much for having me and giving me a chance to speak about Myanmar. And I am aware most of you already know what's happening in Myanmar. Very terrible things are happening right now in my homeland, unfortunately. As many of you already know, on the 1st of February, the Myanmar army staged the coup, overthrown our civil civilian government, and arrested our president and the state councillor Aung San Suu Kyi. And they ignored our votes that happened in 2020 November election, which was fair and square. However, they gave the excuse of the election being rigged and they conducted a coup. As a response to that, we Myanmar people, the very brave people from all walks of life, taken to the street to protect the dictatorship. And we have shown our solidarity we have shown our unity. We clearly send the message saying we don't want dictatorship. We don't want military rule. We want democracy. We want freedom. We don't want to go back to the dark age. And very importantly, all government workers from all sectors, doctors, lawyers, teachers, transport workers, bank officers, and all kinds, they have shown the disobedience under the military gender by civil disobedience movement, which is a very big movement. Clearly signaling the messages that we don't want them to rule. We don't want them to rule, and they must never be able to. Despite all these, the gender did not stand down. Instead, they killed many civilians, many innocent people. Today is exactly 90 of day since the coup. Can you imagine how many people they have killed? They brutally cracked down the demonstrators. They have killed more than 800 and armed innocent civilians. That include children. According to AAPP in Myanmar, more than 40 children were brutally killed, and they have detained nearly 4,000 civilians. The security forces raided the houses and looted our public places at night. The people in Myanmar are not safe anymore. They are in great danger. Their lives are threatened every day. They are threatened to death. They don't know what their future will be. Of course, numerous countries have condemned the coup. The United Kingdom, the USA, and the European Union, they have released targeted sanctions, and they condemn the coup. Of course, the United Nations, they have released many rhetorical condemning statements without robust actions. We need all possible action and the responses from all our international friends right now. We don't have time. People are dying. Why I am standing here? Many young people with bright future are being brutally killed. So what can Scotland do for us to save Myanmar? Please stand with the people of Myanmar. Please show your solidarity. Please ask the Scottish government not to recognize military gender, but to legitimize our national unity government, which is found by our elected MPs that include many ethnic minorities. I have a faith 
Myanmar will rise up again, and we all will get our freedom back with the right movement and the right help. We need help right now. My very last take home message for today is, please remember, if a place in the world is not in peace, the whole world is not in peace. I have a faith we will win if we can fight together. I love Scotland. I also stand with you all guys for your Scottish independence. Thank you.